What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we are going over the new content and how we're going to make MT off this content. Before we get into the video, guys, make sure to smash that like button. More likes we get on this video. Let's try to hit 50 likes. We'll do more MT giveaways on Twitter. We have another one coming, I think, Thursday. So make sure to follow Twitter and Instagram. We're also selling MT. So if you need MT to build a God Squad, hit me up. Let's get right into this content, guys. Um, pretty much, we got Iverson, Mark Eaton, Dirk Nowitzki, Robert Parrish, Jordan. Let's go over pricing. Let's check out how much MJ is because this MJ, guys, is actually very good. Comparing it to the Amethyst MJ, he's actually very, very good. So, let's see how much he's going for. Um, I think we could snipe out a couple MJs. He's probably going to be the expensive Ruby in the set. And not only that, guys, this card does lock in for a Diamond Derek Fisher, who is a decent point guard. He would definitely not start on my team, but... He's pretty decent. So let's get into this filter, man. This is filter number one. It's Michael Jordan Ruby, guys. This filter should go crazy. This should be an easy filter to make quick MT. On Xbox, he's going for around 14,000 MT. And honestly, looking at the stats, he's just as good as the Amethyst. So if you have the Amethyst, man, that price is most likely going to go down in value. So right now, guys, try to snipe out MJ. You probably should. Yes, I'm broke. I'll show you my team real quick. Um, I'm most likely going to sell some of my players tomorrow. Um, I gotta get my MT back up, and I also have a ton of Manu sitting here, so yeah, my MT is a little, uh, it's a little low. So let's pop one pack, and then we'll go over some more Snipe Filter. Snipe Filter number one is most definitely MJ. That's gonna be your best method to make MT, and hopefully we get Jordan right here, and we got another Robert Parrish. That is my second pack of the day. So we took two Robert Parrishes out of it. Um, we got a lot of investments, guys. Um, pretty much, man. We just got Dominique for around 140. He's going for around 177. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot going on right now in the game. There's definitely, 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 most definitely a lot going around in this game. So let's get right into these snipe filters, man. Um, we still got the Giannis snipe filter, man. Don't give up on the Giannis snipe filter. And we're gonna go over one more. This one is a little bit different. It's Diamond Eastern. Uh, you need to have Deron Williams for this filter, I believe. So let's check it out after we do have Deron Williams. So if you do have Deron Williams, this filter is kind of money. Oh, wait, this is Western. Let's go Eastern. He's actually... So yo, Eastern, as you guys can see, pretty much the only card you need is Alonzo Mourning. Scrolling down, man, you could get Giannis. You get Allen Iverson. You could get Larry Bird. So this night filter right here is actually very money. If you have the MT, try to buy Alonzo Mourning. He's definitely a good card to buy right now. Um, next up, we got Pink Diamonds, man. Um, Manu Ginobili. This filter right here, most definitely want to try to snipe it out. And guys, if you didn't know, we do have Dominique Wilkins. I mean, not Dominique Wilkins. We did just have Julius Irving drop. So most likely, if you do have any of the cards that do lock him in, um, any of these cards, they're most likely going to open value. Like Chris Webber, for instance, he's at 222k. Steve Nash, for instance, is also up there in value. Um, he's going to most likely rise. So pretty much every card with the five sets, guys, they're all going to go in value because they all do lock in for the man, Julius Irving. Kyrie Irving's also going to stay in value. Maybe you could get a snipe on him. There is a lot to do right now, guys. <clears throat> Some of these old Amethyst cards in the playoff. Playoff stopper set. Ben Wallace going for 193 k If you guys have Ben Wallace in your collection... Make sure to get rid of him. Dennis Johnson's another one. He's up to around 20-something thousand MT, and he's not worth it. Get rid of this card if you have him. There's a ton of cards. Doug Christie's another one. Definitely, definitely try to get rid of these cards, man. Sleepy Floyd's probably up there in value. Sleepy Floyd's at the 31,000 MT, guys. If you have Sleepy Floyd, get rid of him, man. He is definitely not one of the best point guards in the game. I have Deron Williams and John Stockton instead of Sleepy Floyd. Even though Sleepy Floyd is goaded for the value you should probably get rid of him he's 30k for an out of this card that's most definitely not going to last so pretty much right now a lot of you people have been asking me should i sell my team should i get rid of my cards right now well let's check out Przingis because i know almost every single player in the game 
has Porzingis. And looking at his value, guys, he's honestly, it's not the best time to sell Porzingis. I would wait till around Wednesday, Thursday to sell any of your cards. Today is a tiny, a tiny market crash. Definitely do not get rid of cards yet, unless you did get rid of cards yesterday. Yesterday was not a bad time to get rid of cards, not gonna lie. But today, not, it's most likely a good day to not get rid of your cards. Most likely you just snipe. And honestly, right now, you could just camp on the Amethyst Filter. Um, Willis Reed kinda does ruin it, but, oh, 4K, oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. These are all snipes. Yeah, so I just got one for 4K. So, okay, that's a W. I just got a Willis Reed for 4K, got a quick little snipe right there. Um, that's what I'm saying, man, that auction house glitch most definitely ruins pricing, guys. So if you do see some glitches and whatnot going around, these are obviously all bought out. So I'm gonna make a pretty decent amount of MT off that auction house glitch. It ruins the auction. People think he's actually going for 4K, he's not. He's actually going for 6,700 MT. So with that being said, I'm going to make around 2,000 MT clean. That's just because of the auction house glitch. So here's another instance. So if you see the auction house glitch, affecting one of these snipeable cards such as Giannis or AI. So let's go over Diamond 76ers Diamond um, because that's what team AI is on. So now if you see a 100,000 NT snipe on Allen Iverson, what's going to happen is most likely another one's going to get posted up after that because of the auction house glitch. So what that means is the auction house glitch is when a card is purchased already and they are still on the auction house. So with that being said, man, this auction house glitch could possibly do complete wonders for us uh, right now, I guess. Uh, on Fridays, most definitely not. But, yo, let's go over a couple other cards, man. Let's look at Michael Cooper. Um, I feel like the best night filter right now is Michael Jordan. Michael Cooper is actually down in value. He should go up in value, though. He has Hall of Fame clamps. He's really cheap right now. I'm going to have to stock up my last couple bucks on Michael Cooper. And I know a lot of these packs are mo more, a lot of these Michael Coopers are most definitely sold out already. Um, it looks like someone bought out a million and just posted them up for 10k. They probably got out them for all like 7k and they're gonna make all 2k profits. This is crazy. That's a crazy spam for 10k. And honestly, it looks like his value might go up to like 12k. I didn't really get too many. I got a couple for around I would say 8k. So definitely wait on him. He's not not a good time to sell. Realistically, Brandon Roy is a good time to sell. Mono Ginobili, I would wait a little bit longer because we're not going to get idols this week. That means Mono Ginobili has been out of packs for a very, very, very long time. So if you guys want, you could sell some cards. Also, season ends in 10 days, man. People are going to be fishing for XP. If you guys want, make sure to check out some, some cards that you have sitting in your agenda because some of these cards will actually go for some decent XP. Um, Easter Constance, so look, Trey Young, six layups. This one's 300 easily. All these, man, these are easy, easy ones. And not only that, let's check out how much LeBron is because I know the LeBron snipe filter was going crazy. So let's check out if you guys can make MT off this LeBron snipe filter still to this day. Let's check it out. LeBron and AD, man, they're still up there in value, guys. If you have them, Make sure to sell them. Try to snipe them out. I'm pretty sure LeBron James is up big time. So let's check out LeBron's price. He most definitely has a sick challenge for him. And LeBron James. Okay, yeah. LeBron James is way too expensive, guys. If you want, try to snipe him out, man. It's most definitely a good idea. You got to try to snipe him out. LeBron James right now is 48,000 MT for an Amethyst 20. So if you guys did invest in him, at around 32k a couple weeks ago, you're gonna make around 11,000 MT profit off every single LeBron. So if you did do that, congrats. I didn't think of a finals challenge actually coming in 2k, but yo, other than that, man, that's really all we got for the video. And there's a lot going on, guys. Try to snipe out Mark Eaton. Try to snipe out AI. It will end up working. Um, a lot of these cards are most definitely gonna be spammed on packs because a lot of people gotta complete these cards to actually get the next player in Julius Irving. So yeah, that's all we got for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good one. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure you hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.